wonderful things, but the world passes them by without even a pat on the back. Some people hurdle personal roadblocks, but no one notices. Some save a life or take one that needs taking, but do they get a thank you? No. This world is cruel and dark, filled with rats and hatred. It will suffocate you, consume you if there is no light. And I am that light. But a scattering of souls are so lost in darkness that what I do means nothing to them. Some people are so ungrateful to be rewarded. Uh, the name's Curtis Fort. I am the rewarder. I bless those who do good with a showering of rewards. I am a necessity, a balance, a bright shining light in this muck-filled society. Some call me a hero. I say no. I am a reward. A reward to this world. Some would even say that I was born from angels untouched by sin and kissed by God. That could be true. I have a responsibility. The whole world will look up and cry, who will reward us? And I will whisper, me. Oh, yes, there will be rewards. The clouds are packed in tight overhead, gray and angry rain pissing down on me. Most would say that the rain is a curse. I say it is a reward, because I was fucking hot as hell in my tight leather superhero suit and the rain was cold, super cold, atomically cold. I walked across the rooftops of Washington, D.C., my eyes scanning for do-gooders under my mask. My costume? Yes, I have one. It's pretty fucking badass, too. I made it myself. It's bright purple, almost sickly. One time I was walking through a prison and an inmate threw up because it was so bright. <laughs> uh, on my chest there is a symbol. One that represents my very being. One that symbolizes what it is I stand for. That symbol is a lollipop. A red one. The best fucking kind. I wear a mask too. It's made out of hundred dollar bills. Suddenly, my butt tinkled. And I knew someone was doing good close by. I looked down brow furrowed against the beating rain and saw a young boy, no more than six, helping an old woman across the road. I swooped down and tackled the boy, holding him down against the wet concrete. He was screaming. Hush, little one, I growled, reaching into my pocket. I have noticed your good deed, your act of kindness. I ignored as the old woman, frozen in the middle of the road, was absolutely pulverized by a bus. I continued. The angels in heaven applaud you and devils in hell hate you. Do you know why? The kid was punching my chest, obviously excited to be meeting me. I was probably his hero. He probably had posters of me up on his wall and prayed to them every night. It's because you've done a good deed when none was asked of you. You deserve some recognition. I flipped him around and shoved a lollipop up his ass. He was rewarded. I left the child, now so excited that he was throwing up blood on the street and flew away. Well, I hopped away. It was the closest thing to flying, as I could get. I looked back at the scene and shook my head, smiling. <laughs> Kids. I'd probably made his day. Hell, his month. But that didn't matter. I was just a man. A humble man, but also a humble hero. The cool rain felt good against my face as I flew, hopped. I was tired. My soul was strained. You see, I spent my life rewarding people, giving them hope, fulfilling their lives. But who rewards the reward? I was sitting in a cafe out from the rain, sipping a cappuccino. People kept giving me odd glances as if they recognized me. I smiled smugly. If only they could see through my civilian disguise. Oh yes, I had changed so as to observe people unnoticed. I was now wearing a top hat. 
I wanted to burst out. I'm the rewarder! But that would be selfish. I kept the top hat on. Then my chair vibrated violently. My butt was tingling. Something good was happening. I swiveled my head searching, one hand keeping the top hat securely on. Dear God, if that fell off, I'd be swarmed with fans pleading for an autograph or perhaps a trademark lollipop. Then I saw it. A young woman was holding the door open for a couple coming into the cafe. I sprang to action, casting aside my hat, knowing this woman deserved to know who was going to be thanking her for her kindness. I picked up the woman and threw her onto the table's hot coffee splashing over her. I then sprang upon her. My dear lady, I said, my voice scratchy, we now have the attention of this entire cafe and with good cause. These people need to see that goodness pays off. Everyone was so thrilled to catch a glimpse of me that they were calling all their friends over. Who happened to be all police? Some were screaming, mostly women. I smiled inwardly. I was a ladies' man at heart. They loved me. The woman was screaming under me, wiping away hot coffee. Oh my god, you burned my arms! I leaned down and whispered in her ear. Consider the burned, twisted scar tissue my gift to you so that you may always remember the day the rewarder was with you. I could tell she was thrilled because she was twisting and yelling under me, happy as a pickle in a jar. I pulled out a lollipop. And now, my sweet cherub of innocence, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And the world thanks you for your kindness. I shoved the treat down her throat because I could tell she was eager to eat it. Her eyes bulged and her face grew red. Her breathing stopped. Yes, it tasted that good. She had been rewarded. I stood. Calm down, good people. Stop that screaming. For you see, I'm just a man, flesh and blood. I am no god as you perceive me to be. I am no knight come to save you. I am just like you. Do good always, and you will be free. Plus, you'll get a really fucking tasty lollipop. And with those words that dripped with wisdom as if stolen from God's lips, I hopped out of the building. As I hopped, I smiled. The rain had stopped and the sun was coming up. I have rewarded this world yet again. <laughs>